Hello, everybody, and, uh, oh, what, what's going on? Those are some nice shoes. That look is, is, that is working for you. Bravo. And, uh, hey, my name is Raphael Bennett, and I'm here to do a second Raph Rambles video because it was lots of fun talking to all of you in this, this video format. Uh, so here I am again, and if you want to talk, if you want to ask me questions, this is the time to do it. Uh, here, let's see if I can do some magic. That's my Twitter handle. I don't know if that worked. YouTube annotations can be weird sometimes. I also made I made an AskFM account, which is also Raph Bennett. I don't really know what that is, but if you can find me, I will try. I will try to find you back. I assume I can figure it out. I've figured out lots of things before. Uh, so what other content has been on the site since the last time I talked to you in the flesh? Uh, I finished putting up the Demon Souls bucket list essays that I wrote, and I think those are pretty spiffy. Put up a handful of critiques, including a five-star review for uh, Her Story, which is excellent, excellent, excellent. You should be playing that. Um, that's one of those ones that you can tell, you know, whether or not it ends up being your cup of tea is one of the games that people will be talking about come Game of the Year, so I think it's like an interesting one to have an opinion on and to sort of have played and just to give your own perspective too. So that's really great. Uh, I also put up a super positive review for uh, Sunset. And the very next day, Tale of Tales, who've been making games for uh, what feels like forever anyway, like for a long time, they announced the, the day after that went out um, that they would be closing their doors for all intents and purposes. Uh, which is a shame, because whether or not you like those weird abstract Tale of Tales games, the games that they make are different, and different things are always good for the industry in general. It just, it's pushing, pushing against what we expect a game to be is, is a positive thing, because we can take that back into the medium as a whole. So, uh, so that really bummed me out. And um, on the note of critiques and opinion stuff, I'm actually, I've been kind of stressing for a couple weeks now, because... After this video, in the next week, once this video comes up, uh, I'm going to put up a one-star review for a game. I guess I'll just tell you. Why would I keep it a secret? Uh, for Homesick, because I really... Homesick was... It's totally the worst game I've played this year, and I didn't like it at all. If you listen to the podcast, you already know that I didn't like it, and Andrew did. This is one of those situations where... Like, we have a review scale, we have our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stars, so why would, I, why would I give a game that I didn't like at all anything less than a 1? But it's still, it's still stressful, and it still makes me feel really bad, and the first time I exported the video, I exported it without the review score at all, because I was like, I just don't want to be that mean. And, um, and then I did it again with it for posterity's sake, because if we're gonna do it, we're gonna commit to it, we're gonna speak from the heart and if I didn't like a game I'm not going to beat around the bush and pretend that I didn't uh so that is that but I mean I guess that sort of speaks to this website and what we've been doing with it and and it, how um sort of fortunate we are to not be under the thumb of a bigger obligation like with Castle Coach we can kind of do whatever we want and and treat things the way we want to treat them so if we have a review scale that we want to actually use the numbers in, or the stars in, as opposed to just saying, oh, everything below five doesn't really exist, uh, we can. We can give things one stars, and that's the point of, that's the point of our canon page, that's the point of our index, that's the point of having these numbers. Uh, it still stresses me out. But on that same note, it also means that we can have Anna doing weird and wacky things like the Azura's Wrath video, because we don't have, we are not beholden to a format or a structure, we don't have a shtick. Uh, maybe one day we will, maybe in order to, sus like, to remain sustainable in any sense, we will eventually have to, like, sort of buckle down and have a more regimented schedule, but, uh, for now, we get to make the things that we want to make and the decisions we want to make for the site, and that, that we've been able to do that for almost two years is, um, that makes me feel really great. I'm really proud of Castle Couch and what we've been able to do with it, and all of your feedback, uh, last month, like, that, that made my heart swell. And I am super pleased to have all of you watching and uh, listening with us. 
So, uh, I guess that's that. I don't know how, I don't have a timer thing, but I was, I was told that the last video was a little long, so I guess I'll wrap up right here and, um, and just say hello. Remember, you can find me, Magic, on, uh, Twitter, it's at Raph Bennett. You can try, I'm gonna do the other side. You can find me on AskFM, even though I don't know what it is, is Raph Bennett. Uh, and if you want to talk to me, if you want to send me questions, this is this is the place that I would love to answer. Or I mean, really, I'd answer anywhere. But this is like me opening my opening myself to you. So um, keep talking about games; they're the best.